In June 2012, Connect Media introduced their new digital forecourt advertising screen at Sassel Pinehaven. Spin Insights were tasked with tracking the efficacy of this new and exciting out-of-home platform. A total of 13 participants were considered in our multiple lens investigation, starting with intercept interviews with a consumer. And this is what our respondents had to say. The first thing under scrutiny was the consumer's noting and recall of brands advertised on the screen. I can remember seeing that, um, that coffee, that's, uh, that's, uh, that chawa. And I, I can recall seeing a Coke ad before as well. But... Okay, the next one, Daddy. Mm. I think Tropica. I think mm -hmm. that was it. You Tropica is Coke. That's a right. Coke. We tested the consumer's ability to recall detailed messages. I can't do that, which I, I, I seriously can't. Advertised uh, about the Olympic, or, uh, Olympic Games. Yeah. And, uh, good luck to uh, our team. Try when I toast a sandwich, something for 25 bucks, something like that. We also did a prompted recall test. The chawa? Yes, that's, that, that's the one I can remember. Yes. The lunch bar? Yeah, the lunch bar I remember. The Tropica? Yeah. Stay King Paul? Tropica? Yes. Yeah. Tropica, you did see? Castle yes. Delight? Yes, yes, yes. yes, you did. Uh, the Lays? Yes. Yes, you saw the Lays. Did you see the Cadbury? Yeah. yeah. yeah you saw the Cadbury? Yeah. Cadbury? Yeah. No. Uh, stim roll? Yes. So you saw the stim roll? Did you see the stim roll? Yeah, even the stim roll. Stim roll? Yeah. Chai roll? Chai roll is there. I didn't see that, man. Is there a kini call? Yeah, that one there as well. I saw that. Uh, the Tropica? Tropica, no. Cabri Dairy Mall? No. Stim roll? No. Lunch roll? No. Stir Kinico? I've seen that before, yes. Uh, Stir Kinico? Yes. The Tropica? Yeah. It was also interesting to note what purchases the consumers had just made. What did you buy at the store today? Um, Good, I actually just bought a salmi, some smokes and a coke. Chava coffee. Chava coffee. Pizza and a gurik. We wanted to find out if the digital screen had affected their purchasing decision at the Delight Store. And uh, did the advertisement affect your purchasing decision by any chance? Not today, no. Not at all. No, they come to me numerous times and they tell me that they've got you know, certain, certain specials on, but I, mean, I just go in and buy what I want. Not today, but yesterday did. No, 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 no. no. Here are some of the spontaneous comments from our respondents. And when you saw the digital screen for the first yes. time, what did you think of it? I thought it was great. No, when, I, when I passed through, I would normally come off from the N14 and uh, drove past here a couple of months ago and saw the bubble. I thought it was amazing. It's really bright because I came in the middle of the night. Oh, I think it's massive. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> yeah. I thought, what bright light is here suddenly? I was actually very impressed. I thought it was very nice. You're very impressed. It catches your attention straight away. It's colourful. <laughs> oh, okay. And it changes. So it looks nice. Impressive. It really is nice. 
Much better than the normal neon signs, anyways. Catches your eye. It's quite nice. It's just uh, 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 sometimes when, uh, especially when it changes that that flash, uh, it's quite irritating. Oh, it irritates your eye. All right. And when you saw the digital screen for the first time, what did you think of it? Hey, I was thinking maybe SABC coming outside. They will watch SABC. We'll watch SABC. And ETV, you know. So are consumers more attracted to a digital screen or a billboard? Digital. Digital, why is that? Because it moves, so yeah, it catches your eye. The screen. The screen? Yeah. Why? The screen. Why the screen? It's like television, you know, it's get like you television. watching television. And do you think you're more likely to pay attention to a digital screen or a normal billboard? No, most definitely a digital screen. I mean, you know, there's, 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 there's something more. I mean, it's, it's, it's not just one thing that you look at. I mean, there's a couple of edges on something. And the reason being for that? Um, you always book for sports. If I got something on there, it's obviously on special. It's on special. <laughs> <laughs> no, the digital screen is definitely on the white also. It catches your eye. I mean, it's more. It's catchy, that's the point. I mean, you know, it comes on and off. It's not just something that's there the whole time. No, I think the digital screen is digital more. Screen. Yeah. Is there a reason for why you no, want to because it moves the whole time. It does grab your attention. But what media channel is most likely to drive purchases at a Cecil Delight store? Nothing on the screen because you are at the place. You know, if you sit on TV, by the time you get to the shop, you forgot about it. But if you see it here, okay. I think it's a better top of it. Just a uh, digital screen is actually more effective because it's uh, the fact of the flashing it attracts your attention. So it attracts your attention. Yeah. I would say on the screen because obviously before you walk in, you look at it and you say, okay, well that looks nice to eat, whatever. So I think obviously that's actually more of a better way of. Thinking what I what chocolate I want, what drink I want to drink. All right. No. A very powerful medium, considering the frequency of consumer purchases at petrol station stores. Four or five times a week. Twice a day. Oh, about once a week. And uh, how often do you make purchases at this uh, petrol station? Every day. Every day. Uh, but every day, I mean, every, every day I come in and buy at least a pack of smokes. Um, almost every day. Uh, we do every day. It's about four to five times a week. We uh, are using this card uh, actually every day. A select group of media practitioners and out-of-home specialists discuss the new medium and here are some of their thoughts. The content on digital screens needs to be good yeah. and done properly and the creative agency needs to be on top of the game and it's not going to work. Um, but again, he was also touching on it um, yes. regarding using the resolution of the screen, yes. the size of the screen, Merc moving across. So essentially, yes. we as media strategists are at the mercy of the creative agency. I can sure. book and advocate that this would be a great medium or platform, yes. but I can't dictate the kind of artwork that we go on. I yes. can even make my recommendations, but they normally, because of contractual things, they'll then go, whatever creative agency, this is your beef, bring me. This is what you need to book. This oh, this is what has been booked. Yes. Please put together artwork. The artwork's horrible. Yes. What that does is it devalues the media type itself. Yes. I think one of the biggest problems on out of home would be artwork on digital and static because if the creative agency doesn't crack it and get it right, it doesn't work. I think it's essential to set up a structure within and they get it perfect. From then onwards, it's been modeled. So. For the clients, everyone, it's just going to be a smooth ride from there.
static is, is so much more. It's like 95 rand a square meter to, to print, 55 rand a square meter to fly. So it is more, and also for like printing and flighting, that can take from like 10 to 7 working days. And also, you've got the problems of there might be a problem with the printer. If it's raining outside, you can't put the wood up, you have to do it the next day. Whereas digital is instantaneous and it happens right there and then. So, there aren't really any delays in it. It's December and summertime coming up, and there's always inquiries about pit stops on yes. the way to travel destinations. And garage has always comes up. Yes, it's, awesome. not, it's not often easy to sell, it's not often, you know, it doesn't actually sell often at all. Um, but maybe with the new screens and new platforms and new really cool, funky digital artwork. Yes. Da -da -da. The nice thing about this screen is the fact that you can see it even if you're not going to the garage because it's at an intersection and you're at a robot, yeah. your eyes are naturally going around, so you yeah. start seeing billboards, you start seeing, and the screen is very prominent because it's bright. So I haven't been, I don't know, but uh, being blind because I've driven in the morning, maybe the residents are a bit too complacent, <laughs> but it's pretty visible, and that, that's, that's lovely in the sense that there's a spillover of, of, of your reach. Mm -hmm. You're not just reaching the people coming into the, the Sasol garage yeah. itself, but you're also reaching people who are not necessarily going to the garage. Mm -hmm. And they've got dwell time because they're at a robot, yeah. which, which, is, which is fantastic and is a huge advantage. Would they consider looking at giving relevant information for that intersection? Mm -hmm. um, for argument's sake, there's a Silver Star Casino down the road. Would they say anything about it? Or I'm saying, or traffic information. There's traffic lights yes. away that I'm on route to that are not working. Can I can I read that somewhere there? It's, are they, can they use do, the, do the you feel bringing a, a point of interest like that in a, um, I think actually it, draw more attention to, to the screen? on screens that are visible from the robot or intersections mm. or are visible to drivers that are not necessarily coming to the garage. I think then mm. you know it's, it's it's something worth looking at. I wouldn't say it's a selling point per se. Yeah. But it adds a little bit of value to me. Yes. Who's driving around there and I'm there and sure. I'm seeing that information and it affects me. So, so you're more likely to actually look at the board yes. as a consumer. Yes. Um, um, I think the uniqueness of the medium is the number one pro for me. Uh, um, I think it opens up a new field for creative exploration. Um, I think the biggest con um, will be the difficulty in production as well as the delivery of the media. Oh, that's about it. Definitely, from an aesthetic point of view, it's eye catching, and I know as a consumer, I'm definitely going to stop and look at that board, whether it's got rubbish on it or whether it's got something that is attracting me to look at it. And a con would obviously then be how people are going to see your advert. And then I think that whole thing of the lack of the door coming in, um, yes, people are going to see your advert and they're going to stop and while they're filling up petrol they're going to watch all the runs or they're just going to see that one thing that popped up at that moment. So then For me it would be the uniqueness of the, the billboard, which we touched on already, and also the ability to um, to change the creative and the eye-catchingness and the eye-catchingness of it. A con would also be the uniqueness of it, in that the client that you might be selling it to may not buy into the the, the whole digital medium at, at first glance. My two biggest pros and cons would be pros would be um, that it's new and exciting and the creative opportunity. You know what I mean? Is endless on digital. Cons would be fear of the unknown. Digital's new, clients don't know how to use it, and creative agencies sure as hell don't know how to use it. Um, pro number one for me is the fact that it's it's different. Yes. Um, four port saturated, this is big, it's digital, it's in your face, it's bright. It's not at all. Um, con, con would be um, packaging. How is the media owner packaging it? How is the media owner selling it? A post-examination was carried out two months after our initial investigation with a specific focus on the ongoing impact of the screen. The last couple of months, sales have gone up. A lot of customers actually come in asking who does the screen. Can they also get a screen up on their site? Okay. Sales climbing, customers increasing. The two competitions we're running, the customers come in, query the competitions, enter, which at the end of the day brings in more customers. Products showing on the screen, I can see that there's a definite increase in sales, especially when I pull reports for that specific product. Yeah, because of the, see the special outside 
So they come in the store to buy that special thing in the screen. Since the screen came, most customers they come in asking for the special which they see outside the screen. Our customers they love coffee because you can see the Shaiwa advert outside. They love coffee and the specials as well with a pie and a coke. They will also come asking for that as well. Definitely, I can say we have sold most of the pies and the coffee as well because sometimes it attracts from the road where you're coming the side. They just pop in, then they will tell you, you know what? I seen the coffee there. I want it. Oh, since uh, last uh, last few months. Most of the customers, they see this, when they see the screen, they always come inside the shop, they buy all our specials. See, they say it's nice for the promotions. They can see everything. So it's easier for us when they come inside the shop to buy the specials. It's, it's easy for us to explain for them because they already know that what's on the special, then they, they, all, they buy the, a lot of specials since they put the screen on top of it. Most of the customers, when they, when they, they put petrol there, when they check the screen, because it's normally change the colors, it's nice, then they come to the shop, then they buy it, the specials. So it's nice for us, for, for the, for the, it's nice for them, the, that screen is nice for them to see everything that they want inside the shop. competition uh, to win an iPad so I just quickly came in bought my coke got this and I hope I win the iPad yeah the screen made us uh, made the job easier for us because like before we used to tell the customers what is inside the shop and because they, we've got so many products we just prefer the customer to look at the screen so that you can see what we've got inside and it's so easier the job it's easy for us yeah. I think it's taken away from print media where we've got posters on the foreports and uh, boards up on the sides, advertising promotions. I think this is a, in a customer's face, it's there, it's bright and it's new and it's fresh. Uh, from the customer's point of view, there's been interest obviously, they, they look at the board and they pay attention to the board. Uh, from people driving past, interested in getting their own board and it's new and it's fresh. I don't think there's any market in the country. So from my point of view, it works. It drives sales, most definitely, and it drives a point of view their customers are interactive. So instead of looking at a poster, it's changing continuously, it's, it's, it's driving people to have a look at it and the bright colours is obviously a big attention to it. I, I do believe that there's a lot more we can do with this board. Uh, I think it's being underutilised at this stage, that's my biggest concern. Uh, but from a point of view of just putting up your own brand name there, be it a Coca-Cola product and bright and colourful, that attracts to, to the brand of Coke. Uh, promotions, I think we can push a lot more harder, a lot better, but we've got a more exciting promotions that have got to come up with it. So, we had SMS and we're driving people to come actually look at the, the entry forms in store. Uh, so you've got two driving points, yes, one is the board to in the store and then for the cashier to remind the customer to obviously fill in the promotion. But you hope for the add-on buy. If they don't come for the promotion, they might just add on something else or buy something else. A year-on-year -year comparative analysis between Sassel, Pinehaven and Swartgoot clearly shows a 23% average increase in the sales of the brands advertised on the screens. The study proves that the screen is effective in capturing and holding the attention of the consumer, stimulating interest in advertised brands, and most importantly, directly driving sales in store.